it's not typical for a person to wake up from hypnosis and all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. You know, there's an idea that people have with hypnosis that it's like a magic pill. I'll give you an example. I had a guy I was working at, he was mid forties. He loved working out. He was avid about going to the gym. He was a big guy. And so he told me one day, he said, Mike, you know, I thought I was just going to be able to come in here and you were going to hypnotize me and everything was just going to be different for me. I said, well, think about it like this. I said, imagine taking steroids, but never going to the gym. Like there would be some alterations, but you're really not going to get much effect from that. You still got to go in the gym and work out. And so that's very, very important. And something I always stress to people that I'm trying to educate and help is that you have to do the work. There is no magic pill and changing your life can be difficult. And it's not because change is difficult. We often say, oh, changing your life is difficult. It's really not. Not the change part. That's not what we struggle with. We struggle with letting go of the things that we're so attached to. I read a quote on Facebook once. It said, before you try to heal someone, make sure they're willing to let go of what's making them sick. And most people are not willing to let go of what's making them sick. Mm -hmm. They often say, everybody wants their life to change in some way or another. Everybody. It doesn't matter how together you've got it, how much you've succeeded. It doesn't matter how accomplished you are. None of that. Everybody wants their life to change in some way. But most people are unwilling to change their life. This is where the conscious mind comes in. That's why I do hypnotherapy and coaching, because it's necessary. Your conscious mind has your greatest superpower, and that is your choice, right? So I can hypnotize a person. I could put all the suggestions in there that I could conjure up, and they could be the most powerful suggestions in the world, but they can wake up and they can talk themselves right out of it, just like that, because they have choice. They have free will. So I don't really actually have any power. I'm just helping to connect people to their own power. Understanding that is essential because it's not just going to happen. And I think that it's important for people to know that change is a process. And it's not something that, you know, it's not a one and done. It takes time for change because change is a psychological process, but it's also a biological process of reinforcement. You have to reinforce the change for a minimum of three months. That's a minimum to create new neural pathways in the brain. And that's what change is. It's a process of growing new neural pathways in the brain. That process alone is at least three months. But it depends on what you're working on. If you're working on self-esteem and you've got self-esteem issues from when you were a child, which is when they typically come in, that's when you learn who you are and who you are in relation to the world, you're going to have to work until that work is done. And that can take years to do. And so hypnotherapy allows us to kind of fast track that, right? But it doesn't allow us to like get it just like that. It takes time.